Deep Work by Cal Newport. If you are looking for a book that will drastically shift your way of thinking regarding getting stuff done, Deep Work by Cal Newport is the book for you. The premise of the book. Would you like to know the formula for success in your life? The secret is Deep Work, a concept introduced in Cal Newport's best-selling book, Deep Work, Rules for Focused Success in a Distracted World. If you're interested in this book, you can get two audiobooks for free with a trial of Audible, using the link in the description of this video. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future summaries. Deep work is the ability to exercise extreme concentration on important activities that help you achieve your personal and professional aims, and to perform these activities fast and effectively. The ability to perform deep work is so important to your success, and to all success for that matter, that Cal Newport describes it as a superpower. To quote Cal Newport, what we choose to focus on and what we choose to ignore plays in defining the quality of our life. To utilise the concept of deep work, you need to be aware of shallow work, the opposite of deep work. Cal Newport defines shallow work as tasks of less importance or that have no real impact in your productivity. Engaging in shallow work instead of deep work is a productivity killer that will see you only appear to be productive with nothing to show for it. When a large portion of your day's work consists of shallow work, emailing, meetings, social media, etc., the results are reduced productivity and ineffectiveness in your undertakings. If you don't produce, you won't thrive, no matter how skilled or talented you are. The premise of deep work is that when you start scheduling uninterrupted periods of work into your daily work routine, you will experience increased focus on the things that matter the most to you, and an immense amount of productivity, motivation and grit. Here is a summary of the key lessons you can expect to learn from reading and implementing the productivity strategies discussed in Deep Work. Cal Newport's book provides the following strategies as the best way to perform deep work. Lesson 1. Engage in deep work. Here is the secret to productivity. To become productive, you have to commit to being productive. You have to commit to doing productive work. To perform deep work and get into a state of productive flow, create habits and rituals that make you effective and productive. To get into deep work whenever you have an important task to complete, one that is productive and helpful to achieving your aims, immerse yourself in monastic work by creating distraction-free work periods. You can work in 25-minute blocks, Pomodoro technique, and dedicate as many as four hours to deep work per day or week. Cal Newport puts it this way, if you service low-impact activities, therefore you're taking away time you could be spending on higher-impact activities, it's a zero-sum game. Lesson 2. Create routines around your success and completing deep work. Cal Newport puts it this way. The key to developing a deep work habit is to move beyond good intentions and add routines and rituals to your working life designed to minimise the amount of your limited willpower necessary to transform into and maintain a state of unbroken concentration. Jim Ryan once said, Motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. Therefore, to get into the state of deep work Cal Newport was referring to above, your routines or habits must be complementary to unbroken concentration or deep work. The best way to turn your work into routines and habits is by scheduling blocks of deep work into your daily work routine. The more focused you become, the more deeply and productively you will work. To create deep work routines, embrace scheduled times out from social media and keep at bay all manners of distractions. Consistently checking your phone, email, online videos, etc. By batching similar tasks into an effective routine. Aim to work through all tasks and problems in blocks of time and to develop the ability to discern the important from the not so. To succeed with deep work, you must rewire your brain to be comfortable resisting distracting stimuli. Conclusion this summary doesn't discuss everything that Newport talks about, but the concept he talks about is literally life-changing if implemented. But to summarise it all, start scheduling your time appropriately, first to tasks that matter and engaging in deep work, and then to other, less important things, shallow work. That is how you shall master your time and achieve personal and professional success. As Cal Newport even points out, Treat shallow work with suspicion because its damage is often vastly underestimated and its importance vastly overestimated. This type of work is inevitable, but you must keep it confined to a point where it doesn't impede your ability to take full advantage of the deeper efforts that ultimately determine your impact.